You know what? I love myself. Even though I look like a burnt chicken nugget, I still love myself. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. You read the title, you know what we're doing today. I'm gonna to be recreating a look that I've done, I think like two times before. I got some requests to redo it. Um, I also get a lot of questions about like how to put on lashes. And recently I started putting on like strips of like lashes to the bottom and I've gotten some requests to show how I do that. And I've also gotten a lot of requests to show you on my lip combo. So request, request, request. But, 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 but. If you're someone that requested this stuff, or you're in general just excited about this video, go ahead and go ahead and give this video a little like. I'll wait for you. If you are a new subscriber, hi, hello, how are you? Welcome, Welcome to my dark and twisted mind. I do hope you consider hitting that subscribe button because I would love to have you here. We reached our goal, goal of 200. 200. Hi, um, editing Shamira here. I look terrible. Hold on. Let me flip the pony. Um, I never got to say formally thank you for that. Um, I said it, I said thank you like on my Instagram and Twitter and whatnot, but I never got to say it on here. So thank you guys for 200. Um, it is a very small stepping stone, but a stepping stone nonetheless, and I really appreciate it. So thank you. Okay, back to the video. And so, I mean, there's nowhere to go but up. I mean, I could go down, but we're just going to look at it positively. I, there's nowhere to go but up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, what it do, baby? I hope you brought a friend with you that hasn't subscribed yet, and I hope you're convincing them to hit that subscribe button because if, if they don't do it if they don't do it for these looks alone i know they'll listen to you because you're their friend so i hope you all hit the post notification bell so that every single time i upload you'll be notified which is every wednesday and every friday now let's get started i've already done my eyebrows they actually kind of look filled in today you know usually i always say like they don't look right but they kind of look filled in so we can just jump right into the eyeshadow so what you use to prime your eyeshadow is completely up to you you know there are like eyeshadow primers some people go in with nothing i wouldn't really recommend that i like to use concealer and this is the same concealer that i use to carve out my eyebrows and some people and i've done it before too where i'll set this with the loose setting powder i don't do it all the time it really just depends but i don't think i'm gonna do it today so the first palette i'm gonna go into is this one by makeup revolution it's their fierce wild animal palette i got it from marshall's makeup revolution is already super affordable so this probably in store was like maybe ten dollars um but when i got it from marshall's it was like five dollars and i mean you know it's a nice little palette it has a nice little mirror hi they're a nice shade you can see i've you know dug into some of them already i think this is like a super wearable palette like i think this is a very good beginner palette um because you have like different pops of color you have some glitter but you also have some like nice neutrals in there and the thing is that i don't think you need this palette i'm just telling you the different colors that i use so i started with this kind of like salmon pink ish let me swatch it so you can see it it actually okay that actually looks really orange on camera i promise y'all it's not orange but i use that as kind of like a little base or whatever just gonna take a nice big fluffy brush like this one and then you just start working it in there it's a super like light color but i think that people often forget that you need different variations of colors for dimension in your look so it's not just kind of flat and that it does have some some spunk to it. Y'all know I can never just do one thing and just talk about makeup. Like I can never just do a tutorial and talk about only makeup related things. So Megan, Megan the Stallion, my girl Megs, she released her um, latest album, Good News. Can we take a moment? Because I love it. But here's my here's the here's my problem, right? And I don't even care if people come for me or not. This is I'm saying this seriously. Um, so Megan has a song on there called What Is It? Rock. It's like Rock Me to Sleep, Cry Baby, something like that. And it's it is it's giving very much um, pop. Like it's it sounds like a a very not generic, but it's it's give. It, <laughs> Let me relax so it is very much a pop song which is different because megan usually has like what she say drink and do say got the motherfucking bottle i'm a rapper not no motherfucking model but yeah i mean 
Megan's a rapper and it you know she's kind of giving vocals on the chorus and it's just very pop it sounds like something that like maybe Doja Cat would come out with which isn't bad it's just very different and people I don't know like people's reception of the song and of the album in general were just not y'all are acting like it wasn't giving what what it said it's supposed to give like I don't understand and I really feel like and this is my honest opinion this is me not being by well I mean I don't know I don't want to say it's not me being biased because maybe it is but I just feel like people hold Megan to like such a high standard different from not even just like me saying like oh people hold you know female rappers to a different standard than male rappers but people hold Megan hold her to such weird standards so that they can justify not liking her music or like dissing her in some way and that shit pisses me off like I saw one tweet and it said that like all the songs sound the same okay so one they don't all sound the same because pop song in question sounds very different so they don't all sound the same first of all second of all and the tweet that I saw it was like one that got retweeted a lot and a lot of people were agreeing with that person but my thing is, okay, so you say Megan has has all the same sound, right? Everyone also says the baby has, you know, he makes songs that all sound, this, you know, the same too. But he doesn't come under as much scrutiny and y'all still listen to his stuff. Like, it just, it just, it, it irritates me. It really does. And I wish that people would give Megan her respect. But either way, the album is amazing. The video, for, the video for Body, Beach. Body yaddy 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 like mm 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 mm. But that's that on that. Let's talk about the makeup again. You see me? I've just been like blending out that same shade into my crease, just trying to build it up. So when you are satisfied with that, then you can move on to a bit of a deeper pink. Next, I'm gonna go into this Carity 21 Matte Palette. I've used this so many times on this channel, um, and I think I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's like this really bright electric pink. It's called Lumbia or Lumbia. I don't know how to say nothing. And then that is gonna go kind of deeper down into the crease just to kind of define it a little more, give a little more definition. I'm trying to be really light-handed. The key here is a pro tip. If you're ever scared about a shadow, but you know you need to use it, just take it in small doses. Like start really small and then go from there. Oh, this kind of looks bad. <laughs> what you're also gonna do so you put it in the crease you're also gonna like make it what's the word I'm looking for you're gonna pack it on to the outer corner basically you're like you're doing this with it you're just blending it here keep it low and keep it here and then you can go back into that first brush take the first brush and the first color you were using put a little bit on there and just blend the two together this will just help make it not look patchy now who am i to talk about things being patchy i don't really know because all right now you want to find yourself a red shadow this palette this does have a red one it's called nsfw which i, I don't know i just love that name or i could dip into the james charles palette and use his red but because it's me i believe i want to mix and then you're just gonna kind of pack it on there and it's gonna kind of go over the pink over the hot pink um but you still have it on the outer corner. Like you can still see it, but you will be blending over it with the red. And I'm just using, um, this is like a flat, well, it's like a, it's like a packing brush. It's a little fluffier. And I'm literally just patting that on there. I would love if I could do like a cut crease or like get into like, you know, that when people were doing like euphoria makeup looks or things like that, or like graphic liner, but I can, you know, like this, this is it for me. Matching my eyeshadow to my head, to my, you know, my bandana, that's that's enough for me. But I think as long as, you know, if you just take your time blending, you can make a three shadow look, make it look like it took five hours to do. And then I'm taking that first brush and I didn't put anything new on it. I'm just blending out everything so it's not as aggressive. And then you can go back in and add colors as you need to and all that jazz. But essentially, you're just going to keep going back and forth between those three colors until you are where you want to be. Now for lashes. So I do have, I have a lot of pairs of lashes, but I've been only using these for a while now. So I, I just feel like honestly, I should get rid of the rest of my lashes, but I don't know. I feel like I can't detach from them, but these lashes from Amazon, these are dye silk lashes. I'll link them down below so you can get them, but I got the, um, the 001 style. I love these so much. Like, first of all, I reuse my lashes so It'll probably be a long time before I like, I've been going from the inside out. So it'll probably be forever. Like I probably won't even get to these lashes anytime soon. 
um, because I'm literally still um, using the two pairs that I've already taken out of this pack. Like I just, I kind of wash them and interchange them. I just, oh my God, these are so beautiful. Like I just, I love how big they are and I love how they like, <sighs> hold on, let me, I want to take out a pair so you can see it. So this is a pair I've already worn before. So this is them flat out. You can see how they like fan up, which I love. And I love like little details, like the little, hi, hello, the little hair, like, oh God, they're just so nice. I love them. I love these lashes. I love, love, love them, right? The first thing you want to do, you want to make sure one, that you're going to feel comfortable in them because sometimes lashes can be uncomfortable. I like these. They have a really thick band and they're really easy to put on. Um, but your pref everything's going to be up to you. Some people like a black band, some people like invisible bands you will have your preference the more you get into wearing lashes but me i like a thicker band i like a black band because i think it blends better with my lashes so when you first get your lash you take it out of the pack a lot of people will tell you to like place it on your eye and see like where it lines up so if you need to cut it you should cut it i always end up cutting my lashes anyway like i don't even measure them anymore because i just always think you have to cut them if you are cutting your lashes you always make sure you cut from the outside and not the inside because i because if you get um, the asymmetrical lashes and you cut from the inside, you'll ruin the asymmetricalness of it. Um, and I've already cut them and everything. So you would take your lash glue. This is um, Kiss Lash Glue. This is my favorite one. Yeah, and I like clear lash glue. I don't like black lash glue unless I was gonna do like a winged liner because then it wouldn't matter. But black lash glue doesn't dry clear. So like this will go on and when it's drying, it'll turn blue but it'll dry down clear, but the black eyelash glue won't. And so you just have like, you have black marks all over your eyeshadow and it just ruins it. So you just want to paint on the eyelash glue. Now this is what works for me. Everyone might have something different, but you want to paint it on, right? And you don't want to put on too much. This is why I like the painter because I feel like with the tube, it can kind of get a little crazy. And then you have to have like another tool with you to smooth it all out with this. You know, you just dip it in there and then you just paint it on the lash, right? If you think that I'm just going to stick this on my eye right now, you're crazy. You have to let it dry it's got to be a little tacky um so when you put it on if i were to put it on now it'd be slipping inside everywhere but you don't want to wait too long then you put it on it's gonna be dry okay and the good thing about this like i said before is that like when it's starting to dry down it'll turn blue now depending on your eye shape of course you can also you can do this before or while it's drying but you can take the lash and kind of like bend it like this so that it can contour more to your eye shape. Cause obviously everyone has different eye shapes and the, the pan that the lash is laying in, that little, like, little semi-circle, it might not be the exact shape of your eye. So this will give it a more curve. Or if you have like straighter eyes, you can probably just straighten it out. We just wanna roll it up a little bit. It's got a little bit of a blue tint to it. So the best way to do this, is you basically wanna um, take your mirror and put it under you so you're looking down. So when you put the lash on your placing it on your eye instead of trying to like put it straight on you're placing it downwards right so i'm looking down i don't put the mirror in there i'm looking down you want to place the middle first and then i can't hold it like this um and then you just adjust the ends right You can use tweezers you can use an eyelash thing that's specifically made for this or you can use your fingers if you got it like that i don't i need to use this and what I, what I like about this is that because it's like flat you can get super close to your lash line and the lashes and like kind of pinch them together and then boom there's one lash um when i come back we'll start working on the bottom ones hello everybody welcome back so i've done my base makeup and everything we're all baked and set and everything now we're gonna do the bottom lashes i know they sell individual lashes but when i had this idea i didn't have any and i was like i think this would be really fun um and since i told you i only ever use these lashes now like for everything i just have a bunch of like smaller lashes that i used to wear and so i really like these lashes you really just need one eyelash strip and basically what you're gonna do so this one my, i'm sorry that my hand my hands are like covered in makeup but um you see how it has like, it has like a clump of hair and then a single lash and then another yes, clump of hair. You're gonna just um, cut the clumps of hair out and put them on there. So first, let's cut them. You probably should use like smaller lash scissors, but it's me. So admittedly, this bottom part is a little harder and it does take a little more patience, but if I can do it, trust me, you can do it too. You're gonna take the little lash and instead of flicking it, you know, instead of having it the correct face which should be like up, you're gonna flick it down so that it curves down like that since your bottom lashes curve down 
right? Like that makes sense. So you take your lash glue and you're gonna put it on the strip. In the same process, you're gonna let it dry and everything, but this one, you just, you just wanna be like really careful with it. You do wanna put on some mascara. I have this great lash mag from Maybelline. From Maybelline, from Maybelline. sure this dries down like almost close to dry because if it's slipping around like if a big lash is slipping around you can kind of fix it when a little one's slipping around it just gets messy and irritating so then you're just going to go ahead and repeat that process for how many uh individual lashes you want on the bottom i like to do two on each side this couldn't happen again okay so finish the rest of the face makeup Lashes are on, moles are drawn on, everything's set, ready right to go. Um, now it's time for the lip combo. Ron, first things first, I need to put something on them because they they crusty, they dry, they ashy. Hold on, a little bit of Vaseline on. You should have, I should have done this like before I started my makeup in general, but I'll be forgetting. So I'm gonna put a little bit on. You don't wanna put on too much because then your lip liner and like your other kind of drier products are gonna slide all over the place. So we're gonna kind of put a little bit on and rub it in. So for me, I like to line my lips. I never was a really big fan of them until I started doing it and I was like, Oh, this is the moment. This is the NYX lingerie push-up. It technically, it's like a lipstick. It's like a lippy almost. And I have it in the shade Teddy. They say, they say, that the best lip liner for you is gonna compliment you the most and be like the most natural is something that is similar to the shade of your areola. So I have a dark brown one, do the math, don't be weird. So I like this one. I like to overline too, because I have little lips and I don't wanna be made fun of for it. We'll start with the bottom. I'm gonna get real close to y'all. So you start with the bottom or you start with the top. So you get the basic shape and then I feel like it just depends what you want to do i like to so i have a pretty defined filtrum if you will i don't know why i put it in quotations that's literally what it's called but mine is pretty defined but i like to fill it in and make it more round um because i feel like it's kind of like the more 90s vibe and i kind of like that so round and then i just continue the line and then do the bottom I just, this is when it all comes together and this is when I start to see it. I don't overline the bottom look because I like the top look to be a little bigger to kind of give you like that pouty look like that. <laughs> and then just fill it in. Then I like to go in with um, a brown shade. It's not the same as this one, but it definitely complements it. This is the Makeup Revolution Pout Bomb in the shade Cookie. It's a lip plumping lip gloss. Okay, and then here's here's where it starts to get a little crazy because then I start to go crazy with the lip glosses, right? So I actually just picked these up today when I was um out of the store getting some Thanksgiving shopping done. I got these new lip glosses from Maybelline. They're the um hyaluronic acid ones. So like they're supposed to be super hydrating for your lips, which is great. I got the shades 003 Moon, 009 Topaz, and 001 Pearl. And I and I know one of these is like dupe for a Fenty gloss, but I don't know which one. But I think I'm going to try. I'm gonna put 009. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Bitch just smells like vanilla. These feel really nice and they smell nice and they you can feel the like hydration aspect in them um i'm going to get dressed and then come back and we'll talk about our closing thoughts okay all right and we are back i just kept it really simple i really wanted to show you guys this shirt that i got y'all wouldn't know this about me but i used to be a huge wrestling fan back in the day and my favorite was none other than the, the best wrestler in the world heartbreak kid Shawn michaels just love this shirt and he's wearing red i'm wearing red it's meant to be oh wait i almost forgot the most important part the detail Mm-hmm. oh now we're cooking with gas now the full fantasy is being served it's being lived and served that is it as a completed look i hope you all enjoyed if you did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well as that post notification bell so every single time i post a look like this you'll be notified mm, mm. and i post every wednesday and every friday it won't always be makeup but 
you know when it is you'll be notified love you all very much um i appreciate you all be sure to reach out send that love to your family send love to yourself too don't forget about yourself do your self worth trust your gut feeling don't text him back and i'll see <laughs> and i'll see you all very very soon peace